Hello guys, welcome back to the CTX Cloud. This is the video number three in our NetScaler training. So in our last video, we have seen that how to configure your NetScaler and how to upload the license from the NetScaler and some basic functionality, how to reboot your NetScaler and how to configure some basic settings on the NetScaler. So today we are going to manage our NetScaler first of all you guys can see that i am able to i am accessing this netscaler via ip but it is not practical in a uh, company environment because you have multiple netscaler you don't know don't don't know how many ips uh, i mean it is difficult to learn every time a ip of uh, any server or a netscaler so to do these things first of all we are going to create a dns entry so that we can instead of ip address we can resolve the netscaler as a name so you guys know know that dns will work as uh, resolving the ip to host name and host name to ip or vice versa so to do that like this is my 192.168.1.100 this is my primary netscaler so now we are going to create a dns entry so this is my dns server so here i am going to create a host a record so i'm going giving them this name ns1 ns1 means netscaler1 and this is the ip address 192.168.1.100 before i will create this entry let me try to access this with the host name ns1.ctxcloud.in press enter and you guys can see that the site is not reachable so how many netscaler we, uh, we will install in our environment like two netscaler so we will create a domain naming convention like ns1 netscaler one dot ctx cloud dot in netscaler two dot ctx cloud dot in so this is the naming convention we will use so now let me go in my dns and i have created this dns entry for my netscaler here you guys need to mention your nsip netscaler ip which is like management ip just refresh it let me try to access this netscaler via hostname so i am going to open this web browser and here i am entering netscaler1.ctxcloud.in and press enter and you guys can see that now i am able to resolve my netscaler with the hostname so this is practical in every company environment and let me log in here So I'm going with default username and password. This is NS root, NS root. So fine. Now I'm able to access this uh, Netscaler via hostname, which is very practical. Now, the next thing is, let's say I'm able to log in with this default username and password. But in companies, we do not use these default username and password because it's a admin rights on NS root and anyone in your company which have the access on ns root can make any changes on the netscaler and netscaler is very critical part in every infrastructure so now we are going to use active directory authentication on the netscaler so that uh, the user who are only authenticated like who are working in Citrix and they have the knowledge on Netscaler can access my Netscaler company Netscaler uh, with the with the, their credentials so that I can audit what are the changes made by any user. So to do that, first of all, you guys need to log in with same default username and password. Later on, we are going to remove it. Click on enter, and here you guys need to go on system and authentication and basic policies and ldap so first of all you guys need to create an ldap policy where my netscaler is going to authenticate via, uh, with active directory so how you guys can do that first of all you guys need to create an create an group on uh, active directory so click on active directory and here i am going to create a group so that later on whatever the users inside this group can access the netscaler so click on new and group and here i am going giving the name 
नेट स्केलर नेट स्केलर हाइफन एडमिन एंड जो सेंटर सो मेक श्योर यू विल गिव द करेक्ट नेम हेयर बिकॉज इन साइड नेट स्केलर वेन यू आर गोइंग टू पुट दिस ग्रुप नेम इट्स वेरी केस सेंसिटिव सो इफ यू मिस एनी लेटर स्मॉल और लाइक कैप्स कैप्स लेटर सो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू ऑथेंटिक सो दैट्स वाई एम सेंग दैट द ग्रुप विच यू आर गिविंग हेयर मेक श्योर यू गाइज नीड टू पेस द सेम ग्रुप इन साइड नेट स्केलर now let me go inside my netscaler and this is the web browser microsoft edge where my netscaler one is open so here you guys need to go on basic policies then ldap so inside ldap you guys need to go on here servers and click on add so now you guys need to give the name of your ldap profile so i'm going to ldap hyphen profile now uh, you guys need to give the name or host name i mean you guys need to give your ldap server host name or ip address there are two ways to configure either you guys can configure with the ip address or either you guys can configure with the host name so it is recommended uh, it it is the best recommendation if you guys can use the host name with fully qualified domain name because in most of the cases the ip address get changed but you in it infrastructure we do not uh, change the host names that's why just copy this active directory server host name from here and paste it into server name and use fully qualified domain name which is ctxcloud.in so if you are using ip address then enter the ip address only if you are using this host name so make sure you will you guys will use fully qualified domain name the next is port number so port number is like 389 and 636 these are two ports which is used for ldap authentication so if you in your company there if uh, ldap is running 636 then use the 636 here if uh, but in most of the cases it is configured as 389 so i am going uh, using this default port port 389 now base dn so what is the base dn base dn is basically your domain so like if i am using ibm.com so of that's the base dn for ibm.com is dc equal to ibm comma dc equal to com so in my case my domain is ctxcloud.in so my base dn is dc equal to ctxcloud comma dc equal to in because my domain is ctxcloud.in here you guys need to enter the administrator account who have the admin rights to authenticate with the active directory which is ctx cloud slash administrator now you guys need to select server logo name attribute which is same name here you guys need to mention the group attrib attribute which is member of these users now you guys need to select here cn sso cn means user here you guys need to select server type my server type is ad active directory here you guys need to mention the i so i mean the password for your admin account so just enter the admin account password and test the ldap uh, compatibility so you guys can see that there is a green checks that everything i have put is uh, perfectly fine server ctx ad server 01.ctxcloud.in is reachable port number 389 is open ctx cloud ctx ad server dot ctx cloud dot in is a valid ldap server and valid credentials has been provided so now you guys need to click on create and you guys can see that my ldap profile has been created now it's time to create a policy so to create the policy click on add here you guys need to give the name of this policy i am going ldap hyphen policy and select your ldap profile and 
put is ns underscore trio and click on create so it's saying that invalid rule let me type it again ns underscore trio click on ok oh, it is not taking ns underscore t uh, trio and here you guys can see that it's accepted now you guys need to bind this policy with globally with this netscaler so just select this policy click on global bindings select the LDAP policy select this and bind and click on done so you guys can see that my policy LDAP policy has been globally binded with this netscaler after that you guys need to go on user authentication then groups here you guys need to mention the same group which we have created inside active directory so click on add and let me pay copy the group from active directory click on properties and just uh, add this user add this group and click on command uh, policies and here you guys need to select super user so the super user is that the super user have the everything access i mean it it can change anything on the net scaler so based on the your requirement requirement like you can create a group uh, where you want to give the read only access to some of the users so just create a net scaler hyphen read only users now i am using this netscaler admin so i am going to select this as in super user click on insert click on create and you guys can see that one group is binded with my netscaler so let me check is there any user inside this group so let me click on members so sumit saran is the user <coughs> which is member of this group so you can use you guys can see that srn is the id so now let me try to access this netscaler via srn so just log out from here and enter srn and type the password and press enter and you guys can see that <coughs> the netscale this user are able to log in inside this netscaler so this is the end of this video guys i just want to show want to show that how you guys can integrate your ldap authentication with the netscaler so in uh, our next videos we are going to play more stuff with netscaler so for that just stay connected with the ctx cloud subscribe my channel share these videos with your friends if you think that videos are informative Thank you, thank you guys, just stay connected with the CDX Cloud.